Bam button. The one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to plug up my phone. Bad, bad, not bad, but no, no, we can't sing that song. Hi. Hi. Uh, I might as well just press the button at least. Do we skip this? Because I don't know what it's about. Is my thing okay? There it is. <gasps> uh, continue. How many side quests do we still have? Because I like tackle like the whole chap, like a whole chapter of a side quest. The other day. Like I did their stuff. Where's this my place? Is this my place? I don't know. Um, we did Wine Wars. Okay, so there's that, there's that, there. The basilisk. When did I pick this one up? Ow. <gasps> I'll wait three days and then go see him again. We got all those. Ignore these. And then we still got wit. We have a Witcher contract. And then there's some quests all the way over there. No, it may as well. Let's go visit this town. Uh, same post is over here. I'm so. Wait, is this my house? No, this is the messed up town. I killed the. What's it? The ball thing? Oh, hi, Roach. That's it, Roach. I think this is someone else's vineyard. Something. Maybe. Go! Wait. Honestly, it kind of feels weird just streaming three days a week. Because it feels like so long. Mainly probably because I do it like three days in a row and then I just quit. Then I just drop off the face of the earth. And show up for me three days again. Oh! This is like my soft push for affiliate. 
Well, like, actually saying it anymore. What the hell happened here? Oh, come on! <laughs> Why is that one got zoomies? I was coming down like, ooh, what we got going on here? Need to ask around. Locals might know something more. I forgot. There's never a need of like pulling out one thing to set the other. It seems. It's weird. Let's the board literally down there be like, ooh. And let's go our location. Get rid of quests like all these Gwent things and all the races. I know I picked up. Look like a mining tune. What's going on down here? You all. What they call it blasting devils are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that head on time, the infesto will twist my plums off. Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how Maybe. much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem Damn. with a cow. There, you know what's up. Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed. And a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows town on us. Enough, enough. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. 
I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no, right away they started in screaming, Plague! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow? Where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? My pay. Uh, very well. What exactly? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Need to know more about the incident. Listen. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterb had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good haggle. So how much would you take? You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. What? Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. So this is what your contract they had all along. Oh. It do be a dog. We run around.
Bank cows. Got sliced open. Mm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Got it. Cause that accident. Now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. The youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Oh, I know, I forgot to adjust. Blood. Draconid must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Traces of Draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Follow the blood. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Damn, fuck. So one more. There you go. Okay, there's that and down there. All right, well, it's I moved oh, right. Okay. Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Oh, right. Was in a bad way. Barely crawling. Uh, I should meditate for a second. You know what? Second draconid landed here, a larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal, then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. This way. Wait, I'm gonna together. have to deal with two of them? Probably bound for their nest. Uh oh. Not two of them. Trail and 
Hens here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. I got drinking as well. I do. Wait, can I make thing? Do I have thing? No. Here. May well put it on, I guess. Oh, I'll set a repair my sword. What? Wait, did I get a sword? Oh. Man. Now I haven't got a sword in a while. If I've just been sticking to blade from bits forever. <laughs> Did I just get a few swings at it? And that's it. Ow! Fuck. Ah! Oh, something it. Like, fuck! Man. This has been a moment! Come here! I forget, I actually used one. And that one said. I didn't even realize they their health bars were together. I was I thought I was just doing the thing. Ow. I'm dumb.
Okay. Bro, I want to climb up here. Also, did I are you doing it? Yeah, do it this way. <laughs> Bro. I mean, gotta hit. Also, eh. is that a place power? Cool. Didn't do anything about that. Right now. Why is he? Why is he just one? There we go. Right. Right time Beast defeated. Trophy. Rest of the eggs haven't hatched yet. Need to burn the whole nest. That'll do it. They jump in the fire because I feel bad for killing babies. Not really. I don't know. Oh, they got a sword. Ooh. I didn't get show nothing. So it's like, what's the point of watching it? Wow. Yo, we got wings. Oh, the treasure hunt is the griffin? Blue armor die. Oh. Read. The witcher I summoned reached Ding on the 12th of September. He made a favorable impression. I expected a cold uh, killer, yet I found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back, the Christian head battalion, just drove as he was called. Asked me a great many questions about the beasts near the uh, Mancha castle. Right there. Wait. Should I'm gonna give that one last <laughs> piece of my mind. Then I ran into the house, my seat, and right off with it. Huh? Oh. Wonder what happened at Mumkron. Yeah, shall we go there now? Press the place of power. Why do you mean it's like down there? I'm getting confused. Where am I going? What is this? Is this showing like the nest of like where these two slithers were? No? Where's this cave entrance? The fuck? Huh? 
I don't see this cave entrance you're talking about. Game. Well. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Igni. Oh good, I use it me a lot. It's my oh We broke I broke my legs. Oh that's what that one. Yeah, I didn't save. Um, so, it says down here. Medallion's humming. It's right there. Place of power. It's gotta be. Alright, cool. Also, the goddamn signpost was our way anyway. No. Same post was this way somewhere. Over here. Over here? Yeah. Wait, we didn't read prison's report. Is that it? Where's... So I'm crafting, where's the note? I have so many goddamn keys. What the fuck? Found it. Cool. What okay. Happened at Mung Kron. No, it worked. Okay, select this. Then we travel back. God damn. God. What in the same hill? Why doesn't that place have a thing? Come on, roach. Now turn around. Is this anything? What's that? Oh, I'm done. Is it because of me? Yeah. 
Be free of your weapon. Eh, fuck. Okay, cool. Wait, what's there? Ooh, is there anything over here? Or is he just some are ruins that don't matter? I think these are summer rooms that don't matter. You have no treasure whatsoever. Um. What do you mean I can't use that sword? Fuck. Ah. Roach, where'd you go? Where'd I go? Roach! Roach, we're going the wrong way! I went to scratch my leg for a second and you go the wrong way. Why? Uh, that's probably the same post for Corey was. God damn. I tried looking, I didn't see it. it. Uh, 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 trying to research through all this would be such a bad idea. Hi. Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. Huh? All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I think you're like this. suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or... Oh, locusts got them like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architects wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. Okay, why do I have to see all that? Truth be told... I lied, but I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. More work. Come see me later. I shall divulge to you the details.
Uh, what? The fuck? So, Master, the workers who vanished. How goes the search? Vanished, what does vanished. that mean? What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here at Ardaizo. And this means he's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. Location okay, marked. Uh, oh. That's per large request. Okay. Like, oh, uh, can't do it. Stop. Red. Never mind, that's far away. Don't care. Go back to the signpost. We choose our next mission and then. Big feet to feel. Alright, so we got no more Witcher contracts at the moment. But it is this. I'll do that later. Wait right, until you're a man of honor. Here, do that one. That's the lowest. Oh, is my armor? I haven't been looking at the armor and picking up. That's better than this. These are my doors. Those are better than these. No, the rest are trash. Well. Healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in uh -huh. for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Huh? Curse, why are you making this up? What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare. I'm to gonna tell the whole damn town. I'm troubled about her, for her. 
Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. Huh? I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Princess Fiona. Uh... I mean, I the sound you so. heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Uh. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Let's talk about my reward. Not the irregular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. He can't be anything ordinary either. I am no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Oh. Uh, uh pay. We could get they're paying so much. I want six fifty. Vivian is worth every copper, but this uh, is simply okay. not half. You ask too much. Five seventy. I have comrades I can ask. They would surely lend me coin, yet even that would not be enough. Could you not lower your fee somewhat? Yeah, five fifty. I have comrades I can ask. They would surely lend me coin. Uh -huh. Even that would not be enough. Could you not lower your fee somewhat? Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed. Whatever. Okay. Fine. I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. What? I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ. Require skills you don't usually apply. Races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start?
Uh, uh, crank this door. I feel I need to do some shooting. I barely done any shooting. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Uh. Hit the red targets. Yeah, actually. Yeah. There we go. Once more. Uh, sure. Glad they give it another try. I don't know why I put it like sometimes. That's better. Once more? Nah, that's enough. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Alright. Let's do some writing. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. No. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not write against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We should go there now. Run, 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 run. Jesus, how far are we going? All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. This is really... a bunch of stuff I haven't done. Meta combat. Hold down on the attack button. Uh, yeah. Come on, Roach. Gerald, where'd you go? What's happening? Slow now. Whoa. 
Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. Yeah, sure. No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. Faster. Oh, there's something weird. And be right on the target. There's something weird with how he's running. No, not. Shut up. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? I had enough. That's fine. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Be nice to swing. Do some footwork. Work up a sweat. Very well. <coughs> we should practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own methods. Rainfarn, for instance, fights Halberd in hand. Come with me. Okay. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine okay. your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best. But now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. No, excuse me, fire me coming through. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. I will stand and fight, but be warned, I do nothing halfway. Swish, swash, swish, swash. Why am I bugged? What the fuck? Come on, come closer. Defeat Devin. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Uh, I practice luck. I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Okay. Until suddenly. No. Oh yeah, let me through. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, like, there's an armor and a person here. I think there's actually both. Yeah. Excuse me, baby. Excuse. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What do you mean? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What uh -huh. a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. 
It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Uh. What are you doing off about Ravix? Ravix at Fourhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Fourhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With vows already. You say something about vows? As is our custom. Knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. What? Okay. The challenges. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Uh, sorry. I got distracted. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. <laughs> Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I'll swear on it. Here? 
I solemnly vow on the Heron that in competing I'll respect the chivalric virtues. Heron. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. Sign here, please, then fill out these forms. Uh -huh. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. I don't even know what happened. I just kind of closed my eyes. Oh god. Geralt, well I'll be... Have you decided to turn Knight Errant? Yeah. All dressing aside here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? I shall square off against Renfan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would end yeah, his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait, play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Nah. Thanks. Another time, maybe. Ha! Ah, you've denied me some diversion, but at the least my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. you the honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year fight honorably so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize you have sworn your vows you have ready body and soul the time has come to test them Yeah, hopefully I don't miss Akispar of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. <laughs> His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. The target he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Uh. Three, two, one. No. Fuck. Fuck! And try and keep it out. Just barely. I accidentally shot one of his. Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. A new crossbow. 
Ouais. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my Thank you. Uh, My medallion is vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. Uh, to lose talking. to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine mm -hmm. which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Okay. Or... Yeah, let's go now. Ah, my legs. <gasps> This Sorry is for your legs and that cramp in the center. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Rux A ten years for some birds. Hmm. Someone to talk complexes. You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Bam 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 bam. Roach, are you decked out? Knights and ladies decorous, gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Savor their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Lanthal. Mm -hmm. Lead us of Metina. What is his armor? Rainfarn of Atra. What is their armor? Home Makaspag of Maked. Donimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren. What is that armor? Delwyn of Craigiau. Count Ty of Dondal. <laughs> and say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint flower of silence, tawny champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, <gasps> his victory to secure, shall face mm -hmm. Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother Meath, Queen of Lyria and Rifia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside. 
prince. Damn. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you can't the help it, like, of the honor, medieval honor time. and glory. <laughs> Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Go! Uh, I actually got control. Slightly worried because they sold monsters. <laughs> Just like, Ugh. well, well, I tried. Can't see. Go. Why are you all screaming? Don't be on the track. It literally just says choose a side. Why are y'all in the road? Choose the side again. Choose over here. Well. Whatever. Got that one. I was about to go, of course. We ran the whole thing. Was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor uh -huh. our entrance, uh -huh. praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way. My maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. <laughs> no, right. Congratulations on your win. 
in stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. Gosh. Can't get a piece. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... A vampiress? Ooh. Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Why not? To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. <laughs> That's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. A duel? Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Cow. Mounted combat in the main arena. I That's a combat. Fine. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. No, I'm good. <laughs> By the blood I will spill, wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two, one. Hey. Yeah. Man, you kind of suck at this. Also, I'm over leveled. Come here. Dumbass. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it, you still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh... I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. I have no idea what this mission was. What's that man's armor? What's their armor?
my heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet after I'm sorry about my yawns. They're aggressive, you know. Peace and respite. Thus, I don't, like, I don't think they get picked up as well as they do on mic, but they do. I really need a mute. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will. Yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Okay. Better, better, better. I gotta pee. I'll be back.
Okay. Oh, I'm back. Let's resume. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. You possess the virtue of honor. You are proving all Sherlock virtues. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh not the quest we're doing though. When the, what quest were we doing? That one. Is she still walking? No. No. Hmm. Strange. Was sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. I'll see you. What's up here? There, Panther. Why are you actually come at me for what the fuck? Dying to the tenth on board. Hey, thanks. Why are what is with all the animals? Jesus! No, fuck you. I'm leaving. What? Lost your nerve? Does anything happen if, like, your sword just. You just only like, get so bad that you wear it down to, like, 0%? Let's just break. Jesus. 
Anyway. What? Where are we going? We're going so far. Jump over it. Uh -huh. Fuck between the trees. Uh oh. Unless there's an actual gap between them. Bro, where are you taking me? Hold on. Don't know what's going on. I feel like it's fine. I'll uncensor I'll uncensor it. If uh, it, 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 it's nothing. Oh wait, no, it's in four. That's the center. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> She's a bird woman. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seem to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, uh -huh. I want it done here. In this very spot. With no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then no! Also, now, and do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what happened to your eyes? Uh, uh, afflicted by a curse? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet. But hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Got nothing up here. That's where my hair. I will be discreet. I swear this on the heron. You mock me. No, it's just you want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. 
Mm -hmm. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, he in his clearing. Uh -huh. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. Uh -oh. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What did the creature look like? Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened then? What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Lift. The curse, it could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee uh -huh. a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. There is another method. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you though, could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Uh -huh. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. Okay. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Yeah, let's. Let's. What? <laughs> why would I stay here? Uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. Uh. I can put up this. Because <laughs> if she's reverting.
The sensor going up. No. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Oh, she dipped as well. Now she is kind of naked. <gasps> you can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're good. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or... I don't know. Console her at the least. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand, the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you? I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now uh. that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? Uh, here. We'll finish the I back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked uh -huh. Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that mm -hmm. day, knights errant have guarded the duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will <gasps> say anything. You know nothing of knightly combat as a creature. <sighs> Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. What the fuck? Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight full tilt till one stops to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must be heads bowed <laughs> in disgrace. Let us begin. Mount Rissaracus. Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Oh, my God. 
What? Lost your nerve? Blink, blink, blink. Yeah. Oof. Dude, bro, fuck. There we go. The world what happens if I a fight quite so glorious for showing such verve? Each night was victorious. Get in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rivia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials. Each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, mm -hmm. we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes? Any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Uh, Thanks, I'm fine. Okay. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of last year's tourney. Giant of them. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Oh. Pacing the grounds, the titans look scared, the watchers and spy as well. Uh. Alright. Who is this man? Why is he so big? Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! 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 <laughs> A night to remember. As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the head. Oh, look at the crown. Thank you. you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is away. Okay, slip like and peel myself. Oop.
Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. I can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No. Haven't hatched a thing. No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady! I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I am yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchess' oh. northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the witchers see Out now I'm sorry. <laughs> I should say it means well. You assured me I could trust you. And um, I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Uh. Need to find an egg, preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me. What will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let it's fine. Unless it's like when you try it when we're sacrificing the egg, it's like I don't know. And just pops up being like, oh. My lady, wait an hour. I'm tired. Oh no! The panther's got the nest! Stand back. I'll take care of this. Fine, except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so.
Oh, she's wearing a bird again. Now what must I do? Why can't the repeat after? You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finarat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finarat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finarat. Muana Gandrao. Muana Finarat. Oh. Is okay? Damn it. Geralt! Look! Look! Oh, God! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenfer! To Novigrad even! Thank you, Witcher! Other than Guillaume, he's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? So you tell him yourself? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Sure. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Where is he? Okay, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> Gallimar! Gallimar! Maybe I can't do that here, what the fuck? Man! I cannot just run through this place. Dude, this is such a wide road. There's no problem. I'm pretty sure it went the wrong way. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going down to the square. Let's just take the signpost. I don't Roach being nerfed and can't run. Buddy, you good? I know she was kind of mean. Butter. I pledge my love oh. to win. Yeah, you're right. Geralt, what a Vivian. Managed to lift her curse. 
Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Yep. Vivian's happy. Oh, uh, wait. She asked me to pass the Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? She's happy. Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Okay. Fair. <laughs> Is it over? It'll be happy. Master, 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 master. It's my home in tip top shape. Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we have course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the oh, Jesus. engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Jesus. Like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. Mm, nice. Okay. No place I go. Oh well. Um, right now. I do that. I'm just about to leave. Perfect. I mean, it's just passed out. Um, has been like three days for a thing too. The wine wars. Yes. <sighs> oh. 
fine. Why is it? It's just like stuff goes away when I. Okay, now we can run. Cool. Let's go. Oh yeah, we are here. Hi. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Uh, so you're doing well. Hmm. You two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic, quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. Oh. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Estes. We owe uh. this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Uh, uh, let's play White Wolf. Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. Oh, go. <laughs> hey, our quests. That we're like left hand. Uh, uh, one thing. Wine was completed. I'm just falling. Yeah. What? Why don't they have the same post? I'm not good. Very cool. The same post. Let's go. Uh, go. Run. Go, go. Mr. Hermit. I have returned.
You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Any time. Then draw your blade. <sighs> Yo. Oh! Oh, not mages. Fuck. All right. Certainly. The hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you receive the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Did I lose the sword before? What? The diamonds of the five virtues. My crossbow was in on. Uh, okay, what about one blade? Alright, uh, each blade uh, generates charges, which increases sword's damage by 10%. The charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. Fully charged sword always deals critical damage. Killing foe with uh, fully the sword will expend the uh, charges, so burning clears the uh, damage. Oh, so this is like a forever. Yo, that's cool. So it also potentially has. Could potentially get real powerful. Uh, goodness gracious, great balls, granite. To death to people part. I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see this one. Sound fast. Okay. Um. <sighs> huh. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do. Need the mic. <gasps> Oh. 
I say every time. Oh, my yawns are aggressive. Oh, not aggressive. Is that like I'm yelling when I'm yawning? I used to do that. Hey, more. <laughs> Oh yeah, is the horse gear ain't good? Yeah, technically. And then this armor is better than everything is wearing. Cool. Alright, cool. Hey, uh. I made a mistake. Now. Nope. Where's the thing? What? And better both stop. I want to tell you. I'm not a cat. I'm tired. No, tired, tired. Okay, leave. I might just at like the Queen's Castle. Just by accident. Where am I? I don't even know. Okay, I'm a little sleepy. I'll be fine. We got like three more minutes on stream. And I spent most of it just running to this next destination because I haven't seen goddamn signposts anywhere. Did I buy our look? No. But that's besides the point. I figured one would just appear before and he's like, poof, I'm here. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Right. Okay, hold on. I'm good. I promise. Okay, I'll walk again. Let's say, like, oh, give me a second. And then I just go back to what I'm doing. Uh, right before I said something. And did the thing again. I promise I'm okay. Excuse me. Snow White, you with the exquisite hair. What? 
Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something uh -huh. you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Ford behind you. <laughs> Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Fine. Don't see why not. As long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to what? frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Wait, what about man Eric? How do I get to you? Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past. On your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank.
perfect. Uh, I have no clue. I'm sorry. What? I have no idea what happened. Did they throw anything? I don't think so. I shouldn't have. I hear no voices. I'm leaning too far back. That's the problem. That's what happens when you get no support. I just kind of fall over and slump. Bro, let me out here. I'm in an alley. Um, fuck. I'm tired. I need... This is what happens when I don't drink my drink. <sighs> this is what happens when you don't drink your energy supplements. Mm. You just start to... What time is it? Go. Uh, we should arrive in time to have the best life. The I am so sorry. We shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle dove or the heat hangs in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Uh, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah, if you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Oh. Cat? Yes. Piero Cruz Mustache. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second rate hack and a thief. Alright. Fuck. Man. I just need to get through this mission. That's it, Roach. We'll continue on. Well, he's done. Hey, right, what now?
Oh, the painter. Where are this in tape? Shit. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that, I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. That checks out. For, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. I'll look around. Uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out, ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art, and not vice versa. Right, you are, Bingo. These guys are a bunch of bullies. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a mage enlarge it after he saw that with Red Corral's play. And now he's begun courting his uh, cousin. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Footprints. Clear, but curiously small. Yo. Footprints smudged. Uh huh. Where did they go? And then they went. Ah, oh, there's the scent. I forgot about the scent. I'm sorry. Ugh. God. No. No, I went the wrong way. We're going over here, go over here, go over here. We keep going, going, going. There's hardly any curves. Not the cave. Got paint drops here too. Sorry. Fuck. Man. Another stain. Could very well be a lead. It's the last mission. All I gotta do. Neckers. Look like they made off with the paints. Jesus, stop. Don't look ruined. Painter should still be able to use. 
use them. Hmm. Cave paintings. This here looks a bit like a Necker. Big blobs, what? A troll? Neckers depicting their victory over some trolls? That even possible? Necker propaganda? Uh -huh. We don't talk about ball jelly. We never accidentally seen Paul Gerald. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, turn the ring. Oh, okay, how do I climb? Ow! What the fuck? Ow. Found your Fire paints. Splendid! Where were they? And... Mm. Is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. Uh -huh. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna uh -huh. take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. With chat, swap tails. Mm, better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tails. Wait, where'd he go? My bad. Oof. No, no, no. It's been a while since I've been like this. They must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. I should probably be there by tomorrow night. Adjusting. I've been slacking. And. I let one night ruin it, and then I just kind of like been snowballing and just not like working out and stuff before like stream or like well not stream but like after work and stuff. This the place? Yes. Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. Place really is beautiful. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? <gasps> Reclining. Think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow. 
staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. Really? May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? Maybe it's a little different. Let me try something else. No, on horseback. Roach How getting about I'd be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh, yes. A horse. Exceptional idea. But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. Uh, Roach is paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride, thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hocks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I begin, or would you rather try a different pose? <sighs> Maybe it's not different. It's not rope. Let me try something else. Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose, of course. The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the, well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Go for it. <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Girl's face is gonna freeze like that. Uh, this gonna take much longer. Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> Run and hide. Dearest mommy! Uh -huh. Eh. Eh. Oh, I did eat food. Why is it? Was it in the ground? I can tell. Yeah, it's kind of going to grow. Queen does help with the sword. Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death. Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, 
where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yes, yeah, sure, fan. Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid. Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures and the proportions. Yeah. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Thank you. I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. Well. I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your <gasps> likeness. For posterity. Well. I just have to get back. I think I'll end it here. I'm tired because I have been doing stuff. Um, well, if you want, well, if it... next stream is. Tomorrow. Right. Next stream's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Kotor Villainark. Where I just convince people to be like, oh, kill them all. Kill them. Kill them all. And it's just like, Good night. I don't know. Hey.